Peace lovies, it's Blissfully Mindful back at you with another Blissful Chat Sundays meditation, man, I mean meditate, <laughs> I do this every week, manifestation challenge video. Um, I hope you all had a beautiful, blissful week and that last week's challenge worked out well for you. I have another good, good, good one for you this week. Um, this one I just found and this one's by, oh my gosh, I am so crazy. The Run Boys. <laughs> this was by The Run Boys I did on YouTube, some YouTubers, and the, the channel's called The Run Boys. And I'm calling, they didn't really give this technique a title, but I'm going to give it one, and I'm going to call it The um, Miracle Triangle. That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to get right into this one because, yeah, this one I'm excited, excited, excited about it. I already started it. I was so amped about it when I first found it. And so I kind of started it already as usual. You all know I can't ever wait, right? I can't wait for the, um, for the video. But before I get started, if you have not been here before, I do these manifestation challenge videos every week. So be sure to join me. It is here to boost your spirits. Um, to raise your vibrational frequency, to get you into alignment with everything that you want in life, to make you better, you know, to help you with your personal growth, to help you with your mundane manifestation goals, you know, whatever you got going on. Okay, that's what these do. That's what I'm here for. Uh, I love doing it. I'm having a lot of fun. And the thing about it is like, if it even if it's taking you a while to manifest what you want and you're doing these manifestation challenges do not worry do not worry because you are getting that much closer every week you are you're growing you're 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 getting lots of personal growth which is probably the reason why something's not manifesting so keep going don't give up you all don't give up you know just keep going i know it's sometimes it gets a little you know touch and go but you got to keep going it doesn't matter you have to keep going you have to know that you know that you know that you know that you're going to do it okay and you got to just keep going you got to get with one of one of these if if you haven't had one that you jive with yet one of them will match up with you and your energy and where you are right now because that's what it's about it's where you are right now one of these techniques will meet you where you are right now if you haven't looked at the other ones look at those but definitely keep going just don't give up okay that's my main message do not give up okay this one okay i'm okay <laughs> i'm getting like amped about this one okay so it's really noisy where I am, you all. I am so sorry. I'm not in my normal vlog spot that I do this. It's not the normal time of day where I typically do this. And so it's super noisy. I normally come way earlier than I am today. I was just having like a lazy morning and I was just kind of chillaxing and stuff. So pardon the noise, okay? I'll try to um, get through it despite the noise, you know, because I am not letting the noise stop me, okay? We are doing this. All right, well, I still have warm weather to do these videos outside and then, you know, then I'll be all trapped indoors. But anyway, okay, so this one, we're calling this one the Miracle Triangle Manifestation Technique, okay? What you're gonna do, okay, well, it's not about what you're gonna do so much before I get into that, let's go over it, okay? So, let's say triangle, pyramid, which, whichever you feel more comfortable with, Okay, you know, there is a triangle, you know, just your whole existence. There is a triangle. You you are a part of it, okay? At the top of that triangle is you, okay? Because you're at the top of the triangle because you're the one who is manifesting this reality. You are at the top of the triangle, okay? At the top is you. As you know, everything is energy. Your energy the whole existence is energy everything's energy you know down to the cellular cellular level <laughs> you are energy we all are everything you see is energy everything your senses pick up on is energy everything is energy okay so we're going to use money as an example i'm not sure if that's what you're wanting to manifest but if it's not just use what you're using okay but right for this example we're using money okay so we got this triangle, right? You're at the top. 
because you are the one orchestrating this thing. You're the orchestrator, okay? You're the like the conductor. <laughs> okay, so it's you. Then we're gonna come on down the triangle because next we're gonna have energy because like I said, everything is energy. Everything, there is no debate on that. Everything is energy, okay? You have energy. Then we're gonna go to the other side of that triangle and we got money. 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 <laughs> money. <laughs> okay, you all cannot help but acting so silly. All the time. Anyway, okay, on the other side of the triangle is money. What you're gonna do, because you have to start, this, this technique is gonna help you get your confidence level up, your manifestation confidence level up. Okay, because that's probably a big part of what's happening too if you're not able to manifest something that you've been trying to manifest for a long time is your confidence level. And I love to do stuff on that, okay? Because I, I don't know, I'm like the queen of the confidence thing. I love confidence boosting. You know, I do it all day. I'm in my self-talk in my head all day. I'm like, girl, yes, you did that, okay? So, <laughs> I mean, and that's what we're going to be doing here. What you're going to do is you're going to say this all throughout the day. Repeat it to yourself. Wake up saying it. Go to bed saying it. Saying, say it in the middle of the day, throughout the day, whenever you need to say it to yourself. But you're going to say this all the time to yourself until you believe it, until you know it, until you receive it, until you achieve it, okay? Until you be it, okay? <laughs> you're going to just keep saying this. Everything is energy, okay? Everything is energy. You're going to say that. Then you're gonna say, I am energy. Then you're gonna say, therefore, money is energy. Therefore, I manifest money. Okay? Everything is energy. I am energy. Money is energy. Therefore, I manifest money. Yes! Okay, you manifest it. Because you are the bomb.com at manifesting things, you know? You manifest that money in your sleep, baby. You manifest that money daily you manifest that money weekly hourly yearly you know just subliminally <laughs> um in this reality you because if everything is energy okay and if you are the one orchestrating this thing okay then why would you not be able to manifest money, okay? You can manifest money. You can manifest whatever you want because you are the orchestrator. You're the one at the top of that pyramid. The top of that, you're at the top. You are the conductor. You are the master. And you have to know that you're the master. So this technique is gonna help you to know that you are the master, you know? So it's self-talk, you know? Even if you don't believe it at that moment, just keep telling yourself until you believe it, okay? Because that's all, that's all belief is, is you keep telling yourself, you keep thinking the same thing over and over, you keep telling yourself something over and over, and that's all it is, and that's what we're doing here. You can manifest what you want. Yes, you can, okay? You're gonna keep telling yourself until you believe it, okay? Until you achieve it, until you receive it. You're gonna do it, all right? So that's what this one is. You're gonna tell yourself, like I said, all day, every day. Everything is energy. I am energy, therefore I manifest money because money is energy. Yes, and I manifest money in my sleep, baby. Yes, okay. Yes, she does. She went, it's like effortless. She just does that, okay. Just my being manifests money. <laughs> so that's what we're doing here. That's what we're doing, okay. So you all comment below on how this one goes for you. So this week's question of the day is what is going on with our babies? What is going on? Why are they, there's so many special needs children? And I'm saying this as a mom of two, a, a single mom of two. I'm saying it as that as well, because that does, you know, you, as we start talking about this, um, I'm saying this as someone who works with children, I'm saying this as someone with a psychology background. I have worked in group homes and stuff with children. And obviously those, those that population of children are gonna have a, a lot more issues, obviously, if they're in a group home. Nonetheless, still, children, they're all my babies, okay? What is going on? This summer, 
this is I guess sort of a story time at the same time and, and I, I'm just putting the question out there because I want you all to chime in please please chime in comment below on uh, what your theories are what do you think is going on because there is something going on I'm ch I'm telling you I'm saying this because I work with children I've been working with them for some time and this year out of all of them I have never seen this level of special needs children I have just never seen this I mean it's just on a whole other level and it's like getting progressively worse and I'm just like not understanding what is going on is it in the water or like the food or you know and dare I say the V word I'm you know they're demonetizing you for saying that word so I'm not gonna say it um I don't know what it is but it's something is it the air <laughs> like i don't know what is going are we under hypnosis what is really going on what's good out here and so i'm going to tell you all give you all some examples so okay i have summer camp right so i uh, six weeks of camp each week i get a different batch of children okay i'm going to tell you every single week i had another crazy crazy off the wall special needs child episode or whatever you want to call it in in my classes so i start out i have one trying dag on there trying to fight me and i'm just like whoop, whoop, this is yoga like wh who does that you know and i don't have those issues in my class so i'm just like what is really going on yeah i had this um just these outbursts you know and it was what happened the child was just kept harassing another child and then it started to get physical so I had to restrain the child because I'm not gonna sit here and let one child with this special needs continue to harass and then start to physically abuse another child in my care you know like that heck no that is absolutely not happening not in my on my watch okay so you know, um, now I know this child has special needs, okay, because I've worked with this child before, but never ever have I had this issue with this child, you know, as far as getting physical, that was just a bit much. And so that was one episode. I've had, I would say out of the class, I am so serious, I would have to say at least, and I'm talking a group of about 20, you know, I'm telling you, I got to say, I'm, I'm looking around and I'm seeing at least 50% of that is special needs issues going on. And I'm just like, what is going on with the babies? So I've had, and I work with school age children. Okay, they are in, you know, like, I have a few kindergarten, but not really. Mostly first, second, third, and fourth graders okay now the issues that i noticed this year mostly i would have to say were like the second third and fourth grade i don't have that many fourth graders so mostly second and third graders right uh, most of the issues that i was seeing and i'm so i'm about to break it down break it all the way down okay these issues and you all are going to be astonished and i'm still bugging out Yeah, I told her mom, you know, she had to come and get her child cleaned up. And her mom was so rude. Her mom was like so rude. And I'm like, I'm assuming the mom is just annoyed because she knows that the child has special needs. She's annoyed at having to deal with it. At the same time, hun, you have to raise your child. Like, it's that's not my responsibility. So to raise your child, I just have her for like a few hours in, in, <laughs> in all of the day and whatnot. So why are you snapping at me? I just thought that was so rude. So I, I just I just want to know what's going on, you all. What is going on with the children today? And then even intellectually, they're just not there. It's like they're out in outer space somewhere, and there's just blank space up there. Because even some basic things that that I know I learned in like first grade or so. I'm like, what is going on? That children don't know certain things that I feel like they should know. And it's like dots aren't connecting and stuff like that. So you all chime in, 
let's talk about it comment below on what you all have what you think it is what I don't know I swear to goodness it's definitely something okay it's not just parenting you know and it's not just um, the school system because I am so past all that silly stuff you know the school system's not responsible for raising your children okay you're the parent you had them you raise them it's, you, they just go to school just to learn A B C D E F G and all that stuff okay they're, they're, that's not their job to raise your child so we're not blaming it on the school system and stuff like that and honestly it's not even about a blame thing it's just I'm really like wondering what's going on with the children like something is not right and I'm so serious you just look I just look in the in these children's eyes and something's off something's like so off you know it, it, there's something not connecting there and I don't know what it is I would love to know what you all think because um, it's really it's I don't, it's concerning you know it's, it's really concerning because it's making it's our future you know and it's making me just wonder like wow what does that look like what does that look like this these children that I'm talking about these are our future this is our future and if this is what it looks like that is very scary you know I don't I can't imagine the capacity of a, a generation to effectively you know um, function if you you can't hold your bowels or there's just certain dots basic dots you can't connect intellectually you know stuff like that like on a functional level I just don't really see how that's gonna happen and then when there's so many you know if there were just like one or two special needs children that I'm seeing I wouldn't be as concerned but I'm not you all I'm so serious I'm seeing way way more than that and teachers please chime in because I know you see it too I know you see it too okay and parents out there if you, your child is having some special needs just love it just love them love it love them you're not gonna it's not going to magically disappear because you get upset about it okay you got to deal with it i i have raised two children alone okay by myself i'm a single mom um i have homeschooled them both and one in particular i homeschooled because i did my son i'm i noticed some things that he wasn't getting in school and that i needed to take some extra care out to make sure he got it so he could be a functioning adult I didn't sit there and deny that I'm seeing this inadequacy there, you know. You, the, what good does that do? And I know lots of people like that, you know. They, they're seeing this stuff in their children and they just act like it's not there. But that's not going to make it go away. And it's not going to help them later in life to be a functioning adult. My son is doing excellent. Ac okay, I'm just, I'm like brushing my shoulders off like patting myself on the back. Okay, <laughs> like, oh girl, you did that. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm just saying you all, just love your babies, okay? Love your babies if you're the parents and you're, and you're seeing these things going on in your child. Do, shoot, look, let me tell you all something, okay? I did some research, I was a detective, okay? Because I wanted to know, I don't know, I had my son, I put him in so many different schools because I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I popped up at schools because there were some things some there was some fishy business going on at school at one of the schools that my son went to that I was absolutely irate about okay I'm not even gonna go into that first of all it's too long ago and I'm not even dredging up those memories because it's too much but there were some fishy things going on okay at at one of the schools and I immediately took him out of that school but do some investigation do some research because you don't know maybe the source of of these issues that your children are having is not even about something you're necessarily doing directly you know maybe it could be something at school pop up you have the right you are their parent pop up and they have open house go to open I've gone to all I go to all the open houses okay I pop up all that stuff when my children were in regular school I did that regularly I go to all the events because I want to know who caring for my child all day I want to know their spirit I want to know their energy and I want to know what's they're putting into my child because they're spending a lot of time with them so 
check all that stuff out be a detective we got to get to the bottom of this we are going to be the detectives you all and find out what's going on with our babies okay these are our babies and we have to protect them we have to love them we have to ensure their future so we got to do this you all i don't know what's going on I hope you all can help me comment below. I would love to hear what you all, your thoughts and stuff, what you think about it, because something's going on and we got to find out what it is so we can solve it. I'm a solution oriented person. I'm like, I like to get the solution, okay? I like to solve the issue. I'm going to keep on harping on the fact that there is an issue because, okay, we know that this is happening. Now what? How? We got to solve this thing, okay? And we got to we got to stop it so that it doesn't continue on with the next generation and keep going, you know? So. You know, be proactive, not reactive. Let's get this thing resolved. But mostly, I would say check that water. You know, I don't know, get, your, get a water filter system or something. Get your water filter, check your water, adjust your diet. Maybe it's too much junk. You know, try to avoid all that junk with all that food dye and red number 40 and stuff. <laughs> you know, just all that stuff. Just do something you all just just be investigative just check out this stuff and see what the heck is going on so that's all for today that was today's QOTD I will be doing that every day every week at the end of the manifestation technique videos I will see you all next week let's get this video to at least 18 likes like comment share and subscribe I love you all so much for helping me to spread the word about my channel you all rock um, I think that's it for today. I love you all. Peace, love, and light. Sunflower smooches. Mwah.